consumed it, you know, with dancing and all the stuff they had to do for that. But uh, he told me that he wasn't going to release an album anymore. He was going to release singles, which I thought was oh, yeah. really smart. Oh, he was ahead of the curve on that. Mm. Wow. Sid, <laughs> <laughs> so, you had a question? Um, this is kind of like, do you have a favorite Favorite Michael memory? Yeah. Mm -hmm. One of them was why is, why is anybody writing good songs anymore? Mm -hmm. Which somebody kind of yeah. touched on, you know. Well, the Michael would say that about other people, right? Yeah, but just just sort of. I mean, I, I think I'd you know, ask him something else, like just what were some cool things that yeah. we did? Yeah, just a yeah. personal. Like, yeah. We'd be, me and Michael would be racing. He liked to run. And so we chased each other through the halls in the hotel, <laughs> and he, he's a fast runner, and uh, so we had fun doing that, and. Um, Oh God! We're, I think I think the I think the best times were like just uh, just hanging out, writing, working, working on his stuff, and and talking, and um, laughing, and just having a blast. You know, it was, it was trippy. It was weird because it, it that's it was great. You know, as far as like are there zany stories? Not with Michael Jackson. You know, it doesn't work like that. <laughs> He's too serious. Like with Stevie, could be in Australia and I'd go up around Stevie, grab him by the neck and wrestle him to the ground and start punching him. That's Stevie Wonder. Me and him were very close. You don't do that with Michael. Just, uh, it's not something that he would find funny or cute. You'd be scared, probably. Viv? I guess it would be like, there was a one time that stuck out where it was just like the two of us in the room only for like maybe 20 minutes or so. I mean, it was, it was a long time in Studio Four, and I mean, it was just like normal conversation. We're talking about all kinds of stuff. And that was, you know, a very, very cool moment. Mm -hmm. Where we, I think we were just waiting for someone to show up at the studio for either to play something back for someone or whatever. And I don't know why Bruce wasn't in the room, but it was just the two of us. So we're talking about <laughs> space and, you know, uh, some different kinds of like Africa and. The space shuttle, I mean, just like all kinds of you know, different topics. It was, you know, that was an amazing point that kind of sticks out. For me, it'd probably be, I mean, there's, there's a bunch, but mine also involves Vibberts, is when uh, we did the whole uh, Santa, the whole Christmas mm -hmm. thing in New York, mm -hmm. and uh, Michael wanted to give gifts to the kids, and so I had to be Santa, and Vibberts <laughs> was my elf. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's just, I mean, <laughs> Where something starts small, but when it go, gets into the Michael Jackson factory, it just gets bigger and bigger. But really fun stuff. Um, what do you guys think were Michael's favorite songs? Of, of the That's a good question. I don't know. Uh, what do you like to perform? I heard he would heal the world. No. Uh, well, I mean, his, his favorite song was supposed to be Smile. Yeah. No, but I, I think... I understand. I think Michael's... Favorite songs would be some of the cooler stuff, the darker stuff. Um, whether you admit that or not, I mean, how can you not look at Beat It or Billie Jean and just not freak? You know, like when he's doing Beat It and he's shaking his arm like that. I mean, God, you know, that's that's not that's not heal the world. Or that's just that's a completely different level. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So, yes. Does any of you know anything about him um, working on classical pieces with? Um, I don't remember the fellow's name. The classical composer. times and then Michael gave him some material he went back to his house and he's a composer but um, he called me uh, years ago and says hey no nobody's called me I go they're probably not you know just like they're not calling a lot Michael's of favorite music. music was classical yeah. and like at the ranch you know god do we have the vein but uh, oh, I, I, don't, I didn't bring that I got it well yeah. can we play this into the CD player this is something I did from Milan Rouge um, that Michael loved, and this is and Michael loved what I did to Milan to Pavain. Pavain was written by Faure, and it's a classical song that I did a a synth version to with drums, and it's really really cool. Michael absolutely flipped out. I, I, I have a variety. 
But no, I got the I got the real one. I mean, play this one, Michael, from the CD of the God. Is this is more of a finished one? I got 5.7, 1.1. One point one. You better not play that kind of one. <laughs> the real deal. The real deal. Well, you want to hear the real one? Hear what did I do with the CD? I have a CD. Is that right there? Where? Yeah, you brought it. Yeah, where's Charles? Yeah, right there. Yeah, it's here. <laughs> so where's Charles? Where's Damien Shields? Can we play this? <laughs> Can we play this? Uh, only in your computer, not mine. Do we want to do that when people come up and meet with you? This is great. Okay. No, no, no. Is this no, no, is this you talk about Michael Loving classical. He yes. just flipped out of this. And the reason he didn't do Milan Rouge is because there were all these other artists in it, and there were too many artists at the time. And uh, so um, Robert Kraft was the, the head of whatever studio did Milan Rouge, and that was Robert Kraft, and, uh, and did this music. And so, um, Real smooth production we have up here, you can tell. Is there one more question while they're figuring out? Was that it? Okay. No, because he had a picture on that. Yeah, play it. Play it from uh, this if you can. This is it.
what year was that, Brett? This was, did you guys like that? Approximately. Oh, yeah. Cool. yeah. yeah. That's, that's what Michael thought I did better than anything else was the classical stuff. And that's uh, nothing but synthesizers uh, doing the thing. So that was from Long Roos, and, and they loved it, and uh, the studios loved it, Baz Luhrmann loved it, everyone loved it. Michael just didn't want, he wouldn't do the film because there were too many artists at that point in time, including like Madonna and stuff like that. He doesn't like to, uh, he likes to be like, no, he doesn't want to be one of the crowd, so. <laughs> All right, you guys good? Yeah. All right. I want everyone to have a chance to see Brad, take a quick photo. 